Every year when I read the story of Miss Ramphias with my students, we create a beautiful lupin project. I just made the stems for my lupins and I'm going to use my paint that I have here. I'm going to dip my finger in the paint and I'm going to do little taps to create the image of the beautiful lupin flowers. Tap, tap, tap. Make sure you're not smudging. You want little tiny circles, wider on the bottom, and then narrower as you go up. Notice I'm not going tap, then dip in the paint and tap again. You dip once, and you make several lupins, lupin flowers. This project looks really good if you use different shades of the same color. I didn't have two shades of blue, so I mixed white with my blue to create a lighter shade. And I'm going to go over these and make them almost overlap. And just tap, tap, tap. I think I would like to have purple lupin too and since I had a little bit purple paint I'm going to go tap 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 with my purple and again creating another shade of purple here I can also take some green and here for the blades I am doing little smudges just to imitate the blades of grass you can do two layers of little blades and you can make as many beautiful lupins as you like on your paper now in case you do not have paint at home you can use markers. I'm going again to quickly make my stems for my lupins. And just like with the paint that we used earlier, I'm going to use two shades of each color. Lupins can be different color. They can be blue, they can be purple, pink. I've seen yellow lupins. And when I'm creating my lupins with the marker, I'm basically drawing little circles with paint. We just got to do little taps. This may take a little bit longer. I'm going over with a lighter shade of blue. And I will continue on adding little circles until I'm happy with what my picture looks like. Some people may like to have many, many of these little guys. And some people might be happy with just a few. I am almost done creating my lupin picture. I'm going to add some blades of grass. And just as when we did this with paint, blades are lines again. And this project looks really pretty if you can use two different shades of each color. Now the best part of doing it with a marker is that when you're all done creating your flowers and your grass, you take a little bit of water and a brush, and then you just go tap, 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 tap. Don't do lines when you do the flowers. Do taps again to imitate the shape of the little petals. And it doesn't have to be a lot of water, just little taps every so often. You don't have to touch every single dot with the brush. I'll make it kind of blend in and make it look very pretty smudges a little bit. It's fun to see the different shades of colors blend in. When I make the grass, now I'm going to make little lines going out, kind of smudging out the blades. I'm going to do the same thing here. And finally here. 
you don't have paint or markers at home and you still would like to make lupins, you can simply use crayons and make sure to use different shades, two shades of at least one color to create your lupins. Same thing with the grass. I didn't have many crayons in my house, so the colors that I'm showing you right here are the colors I had. I wonder which technique you're going to use to make your lupins. I hope you enjoyed this project. Whether you're going to finger paint it, draw with crayons, or draw with marker and then put water over the little dots. Have fun boys and girls, enjoy and have a wonderful weekend.